Imagine you're a businessman taking another business trip like you've done for years. You're about to board your flight when you hand the TSA agent your passport only for them to tell you that the country you're from doesn't exist. This is exactly what happened to the man from Torred. We call him the man from Torred because all we know about him is that he claims to be from a non-existent country called Torred. He vanished as soon as he arrived. We only know that he was a Caucasian male with a beard and he spoke multiple languages. The story that I'm about to tell you is full of mystery and wonder. Without further ado, here is the story of the man from Torred. Our story begins on a hot July day in 1954. A rather dapper looking, bearded Caucasian male had just arrived at the customs section of Haneda Airport, also known as Tokyo International Airport. The man was said to have spoken multiple languages including Japanese, with French being his primary language. The man proceeded to hand the customs officer his stamp riddled passport that showed his extensive travels. As the customs officer began to stamp his passport, he noticed something odd. The man's passport claimed that he was from a country known as Torred. The passport looked authentic and it even included the stamps of the numerous countries he had traveled to with it. Confused, the customs officer questioned him about his passport. The man, bewildered and slightly angry as to why the customs officer just questioned him about his passport, proceeded to claim that he was from a country called Torred. He continued to plead with the customs officer, claiming that Torred had existed for over a thousand years, and when shown a map, he pointed to the country of Andorra and was perplexed to find that Torred was actually named Andorra on the map. Torred, or as we know it, Andorra, is a tiny country that is nestled between France and Spain. The man provided vast amounts of evidence proving that he was from Torred, including the name of the bank that gave him his traveler's checkbook, the name of the company he worked for, the name of the company and the people he planned on meeting in Japan, hotel reservations in Japan, insurance documents, an ID, a driver's license, and many more. Japanese customs officials contacted all of these companies, people, and offices he provided, but they found that they didn't exist. At this point, the man was tired, angry, and very confused, so he asked if he could stay the night in a hotel nearby. Thinking that he may be a spy or have some other nefarious motive, the customs officer called the police and asked for them to escort the man to a hotel for the night. The man arrived at his hotel, escorted by cops, and prepared to stay the night. The man's hotel room was guarded by two police officers all night while agents who were specialized in espionage prepared to interrogate him the following morning. When the officers came into the man's room in the morning, the man and all of his belongings were nowhere to be found. There were only two ways to get out of the room. The door, which was guarded by two armed police officers, and the window, which was found closed and overlooked a busy street. He had simply vanished. There are a few explanations as to who the man was. Some believe that he was a time traveler from a future where Andorra collapsed and Torred took its place. Others believe that the man was from an alternate universe where Torred replaced Andorra. Although these theories are certainly the most fun to believe, there are more logical ones. Many people believe that the story is just an example of how creative the human mind is. Another theory is that the man did actually exist, but he was just a normal traveler that had his story recounted with artistic liberties. I hope you guys like this story, and comment down below about some of your personal theories. Remember, have an open mind, and know that anything is possible.